Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton has reported nine new COVID cases in Jamaica, pushing the tally to 529. Six of the new cases are workers of a Morella Discovery 2 who arrived in Jamaica two Wednesdays ago. One is an Alarica call center worker, and there were 26 more recoveries today. Forty years after 153 old and destitute women died in the infamous Eventide fire, they were this afternoon memorialized by a group including three retirees. The Eventide women, some blind and many physically handicapped, were sleeping when the fire broke out at the Kingston facility. Members of Parliament's Public Administration and Appropriations Committee ran into a major roadblock earlier today as they prepared to examine the first supplementary estimates of expenditure. Committee Chairman Dr. Wickham McNeil indicated that there were certain stipulations in the Fiscal Responsibility Law that require the Auditor General to examine the revised budget where there are significant deviations in the primary balance target and the debt-to-GDP ratio. In year currency trading today, one U.S. dollar was being sold for $146.40. The British pound sterling for $180.99 and the Canadian dollar for $106.28. Meanwhile, the Bank of Jamaica says it cannot continue to intervene in the local currency market at the current rate. Since the start of the COVID-19 infection in Jamaica in March, the bank has pumped $300 million into the market. In sports, Jamaican footballer Adrian Mariapa is among six persons in the English Premier League tested positive for the novel coronavirus. Mariapa says he has no symptoms and is now in isolation at home. In your weather forecast, on Thursday morning, there will be mostly cloudy skies. In the afternoon, expect scattered showers and thunderstorms across most parishes. And that's it for the Green Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.